Hey folks, it's Owen here again with another battle report. Um, left this one a little bit later than usual because I didn't get to play this week, so I didn't want to have one out too early and then have a big gap. But uh, this is one I did from last week against Matt, and he was playing with a Skaven. And uh, before I get going, I just want to say thanks to everybody for watching the last Dwarf video. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone huge. 800, 800 views is just unbelievable. So I hope everyone enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it, and I can't wait to play the Dwarfs again. But right now, we're going back to the Rats. So we got ourselves a meeting engagement and it's Mahals versus Matt Skaven. 2500 points and we're using the scale comp that we use every now and again in different tournaments. Uh, built up by a couple of people around Ireland. Uh, very good comp and a lot of fun. So here we go. And these are the spells that I rolled. Well, I didn't roll the ones on the left because the Lord Master gets a nice pack for himself. But I uh, got myself Fiery Convocation, Tempest, Hand of Glory and Soul Coins. So they're just the usual sort of stuff. I'm hoping I can burn a couple of these rats. So onto my high elf deployment. Uh, I have five reavers there with my, well, it's my usual army actually, as you usually know. Uh, five reavers just there in the front who are getting painted finally. Uh, Fifteen archers behind them, and I've got twenty sword masters beside them with their full command and the lore masters in there as well. Uh, I had to set up first, and if I'd known, I would have put the lore master on the other side, but that will be shown later on. Um, I've frost phoenix then just behind them as well. And then just moving on to the left hand side, uh, I have 15 archers there who I put in the building. Uh, probably wasn't such a good idea because I had remembered just at the start of the battle actually that somebody in a previous battle report had told me about the layer tiers of, of buildings and uh, each tier has five guys and have, you have to have more than one or two tiers to fire more than well, there were five guys. So uh, hindsight, w that would have been a good idea to think about that, but I threw them in there because it looked like a nice idea. Uh, all right, beside them I have five reavers. I have 20 Phoenix Guard beside them as well, with their full command and Razor Standard. I have a Bolt Thrower just up on top of the Arcane kind of hilly bit. And then in the center there is my Spearman unit, who have Banner Discipline. And then I have a Noble BSB on the right-hand side of that unit, and then my General is just there on the left-hand side. Uh, actually, a, a spoiler for Matt's deployment, he's got five or nine gutter runners right behind me. And I didn't realize that there was actually guys who were going to scout in this one, so if I'd known that, I would have put the Phoenix back there to stop that, but sure, how and ever. So, on to the rats. The rats, the rats, the many rats. There's so many rats, it's unbelievable. Um, what we have here, uh, now on the left hand side, I missed the doom wheel, so there's an arrow there. The doom wheel is on the very, very corner, getting ready to plow into a few of my guys. Uh, we have 40 slaves there as well at the very back, they were just a musician. The, just on top of the hill there is the warp lightning cannon and then just in front of that he's got 20 clan rats. A standard bear and a musician and shields. They got a chieftain who's his BSB in there as well and there's a little warp lock, warp engineer guy uh, with a spell scroll. He's just flying around. He's only got a level 2 guy and he's got a couple of warlords so I'll probably have a bit of the magic phase but anyway, um, in front of them you have the big unit, the 40 storm vermin, tough, tough old unit for, for a pack of rats. Uh, they have the razor banner which makes them just as dangerous as my phoenix guard in combat, which is tough. Um, he has, he has, uh, well he has two uh, warlords there, one's a general on a war litter, I had never seen that. Uh, he's got a 4 plus ward save, anti sword of anti-heroes, shield, dragon helm, other tricks to shard, he's a tough little bastard. And then he's got another warlord on Bonebreaker, which is a really cool model. He's a lovely, lovely model. Uh, he's got an enchanted shield, uh, Blade of Corruption, which is, I think it's two, uh, D doubles my wounds whenever he wounds me, something like that. And then he's got a 5 plus ward and a potion of strength. Now in there I think are two war um, chieftains as well, but I didn't actually have room to pop in their names or anything like that. So they're there somewhere. They're not much use anyway. And just in front of them, there's two two packs of rats. So moving along the Skaven line, and we have 40 slaves, a big block of 40 slaves, and another big block of 40 slaves, who are just going to be Tar Pit City for me. Um, I have a five Rat Dart in front of him with another Pike Master, that makes three. And then there's five Gutter Runners who couldn't hide behind my lines because they were in Ableton, so they just hid behind the hill. Probably a good idea. Now over here on the right is the Hell Pit Abomination, which is being used um, with the Exalted Vermin Lord figure, Matt was telling me. Uh, beautiful model, nicely painted up. Really cool to see something like this on the table. And uh, it's all about Warhammer, you know, it's great to see something like that. 
So, in this meet and engagement, you get to roll for reserves. Uh, I wasn't too unlucky, it's only a bolt thrower, and uh, I got the first turn, so I can just pop him on. And Matt doesn't really matter about his chieftain or his rat dart, really. Uh, the Doom Wheel, though, is a bit different, because he would like that on as soon as possible. So, uh, good to see one less Doom Wheel to shoot at me, hopefully, in my turn. So, turn one for High Elves. Um, and not really much I can do because I'm, I'm not really sure how to take these guys on. I've played them a couple of times, but each time is, is it's kind of daunting seeing so many rats coming at you. So uh, I held pretty much everything. I brought on my ball thrower there on the left. Uh, so it'll have a good view of pretty much everything there. And I moved the reavers up just to tempt him into making a charge of maybe a rat unit or two. And maybe bring the doom wheel over there instead. It, it will all depend on what he chooses, you know. Matt's a good general, so he's probably choose the right thing and I'll be picking the wrong one. And on the right hand side, again, didn't move much, uh, left everybody pretty much where they were. Mistake, because I should have measured out from my general how far he can cast his spells in the first turn. Probably why Matt gave me the first turn, because he just goes, well, you'll have to either move towards me or else you're not going to be able to cast anything. Which I didn't cop onto until I got my measuring tape and realised I'm too far away from most things. But uh, move the Reavers up to do exactly the same thing as they did before, so hopefully they'll get picked on and maybe run away. Okay, the magic phase. Um, well, I had quite a few dice, but I couldn't cast feck all. So I threw out a couple of spells from my lore master and just killed some rats. And then gave earth blood to these guys because I had more dice. It was, it was a great magic phase because I got loads of stuff off, but it didn't really do much for my army. Uh, shooting then, and I got rid of another rat over here, and that's, that's about it. So Skaven turn one, and loads of arrows for the Skaven, because loads of movement, which is nice to see, because usually Skaven kind of castle up a little bit and wait for you to come towards them, which uh, which is a pain in the bloody hole, to be honest with you. So this is this even at the get go, this seemed like it was going to be fun as the Skaven were coming at me, not just sitting back. So um, Reavers were right in front of this little uh, rat guy over here, so he charges my Reavers. I held, said fine, that's okay. Uh, then he did, then Matt declares to charge with his uh, massive horde of slaves. Which we then fled, of course. So the two lads came after me, didn't catch me, so off we went, which wasn't too bad. Uh, Doom Wheel comes on and moves straight over there. And he moves everything over there to the right hand side, pretty much. And I think something else charged me over there, but I think that's on a later slide. It is on a later slide. It is his main unit and he's charged into my reavers. Now, what I thought was is I was better off just taking the charge rather than running away because otherwise he was going to redirect me over towards that abomination and he was probably going to come over and kill me. And to be honest, I might as well get rid of some reavers and just, and just hold them up for a little bit and maybe maybe get something going. So rats, rat darts came over my side and the uh, hell pit just moved over behind that big tower as well. And over here then, these little critters scuttered around to the back and they're going to poison the life out of my big bull thrower. And uh, here we go. So yeah, the reavers fled and off they went. Uh, the doom wheel kind of went over towards both of them, but nowhere near. It didn't roll so well for the doom wheel, but still it's come across pretty quick. So it looks like it's going to either clatter into my bull thrower or the reavers, depending on what I do. Uh, I'm not sure who, where I'm going to put that now. If the, I can put the reavers in a way and maybe get them to do that, it, it's tough to. And onto the Skaven magic phase, and uh, Scorch gets through. Uh, I hadn't seen this spell before, and it's it's really good for a ten. You can put a template anywhere that doesn't scatter in twenty four, and anybody suffers a strength four hit. That's uh, pretty sweet stuff. Uh, shooting from the Skaven gets rid of a couple of my guys over here. Uh, luckily enough, it was only two. And poison gets rid of their mind bow thrower, so bye bye, lads. And then a seriously good shot by the warp lightning cannon takes out a load more of my spearmen. This unit is whittling down very, very quickly. And onto the Skaven uh, combat phase, and my reavers, as expected, got crushed. But not until they killed a chieftain and wounded another chieftain. So not bad going out with the lads. But yeah, they're toast, and the rats are on the way. So I have turn two, and this was probably a mistake on my part. Um, Frost Phoenix 
I kind of panicked and I said, oh shit, I'm in trouble here. I have to do something, I have to do something. And rather than maybe bringing the Sword Masters out a bit further and then doubling up a charge with Frost Phoenix and the Sword Masters, I would have been good. But no, no, Impetuousness wins the day again. So I charge into the unit of rats over there and uh, hopefully we're going to see some fun. Meanwhile, the Reavers rally and they go back up towards there so they can keep these guys from turning in and getting me. Uh, they halt halting right in front of those rats. So the rats have to charge me. We'll hold. And there's not enough room for these guys to maybe charge my frost wings and close the door. It's very tight though. Very, very tight. But I think I'm looking good there. Otherwise, I would have probably left them in front of the Doomwing and just sacrificed them or something like that. Um, also, turn the archers over there around as well to shoot at those pesky gutter runners. Uh, other movement then. Um, I moved my spearman just up a little bit so I can get into range for some casting. Although, that was quite a dangerous move looking at it from here because I think if he charged. He could have brought his entire Storm Vermin unit very close towards me. It's very close. Um, I moved up the Phoenix Guard a little bit as well. And my archers are still over there. They're in deep trouble. Uh, I think they managed to get a wound through on Mr. Abomination over there. But uh, that's not looking too hot. So my turn was eventful enough. Two spells are here but only one was cast. Unfortunately, the one that was cast was Soul Quench and not Fiery Convocation. But Fiery Convocation did get rid of the Dispel Scroll. So, not bad having the Dispel Scroll gone and I still have a couple of turns left, you know. It's not bad. Uh, Archers did a decent job and got rid of three of these guys. Seeing as it's uh, ooh, it five to hit, you know, not too bad. But uh, they passed their check and they're okay. So on to combat, and the Frost Phoenix does a nice job. Kills eight of these little Skaven guys. Obviously they are holding on a 10, which they do. But it's not too bad. Only the thing is, is that if I get a bad roll, I'm going to be flapping my wings and flying away pretty quick. Because uh, he's got static res of 3 already. And I have to make sure my Thunder Stomp is good. Oh well, we'll see how we go. And this was actually just an overview picture I took for Twitter. Uh, which is nice. Nice looking battlefield. And it's, it's a pretty exciting looking game. But anyway, back to the game. And Skaven turn 2 is charge time for these two units over here. Um, as we were hoping for, the rats had to charge me. Which is grand. So we hold for that. I didn't expect him to charge his big unit of clan rats in there as well. But we can't flee. Because if I do, the rats will pursue me and he will redirect into Frost Phoenix which is, means he's he's not just dead he's ultra dead so uh, take it for the team lads get a hide and you're dead uh, at the bottom we have Mr. Doomwheel who flies across and looks to clip my, my ball thrower but misses out he doesn't roll very well so that's that's actually quite cool um, ball thrower is pretty much toast but we can get one more shot off the Doomwheel maybe take a couple of wounds off it or something like that and uh, that's pretty much it and the rest of the movement phase there is uh, the Hell Pit Abomination charges, well not charges, randomly moves, which is also a charge, into the building and he's going to squish my guys. Um, two rat darts just move in so that I'm going to have to charge one or the other and probably get pulled out of the way. And then we have a major rejig there in the top left hand corner. Matt was doing, I don't know, he was doing all sorts of weird maneuvers to get these guys to have enough room to get a BSB reroll on a unit or something like that so I just let him go and let him do whatever um, and then the bottom then the go to runners run because they know that the archers are probably going to kill a couple more and they will flee eventually so off they go and uh, Scorch goes off again, this time irresistibly, so I hadn't got a chance to, to dispel it. But it does a serious amount of damage to my Swordmasters. And a unit that was very, very potent against units like Clan Rats and units of Slaves, it would have moaned through it. Now we are struggling a little bit because of the manpower. We still put out a lot of attacks, but we're going to struggle a little bit now. And... For all the explosions that happened, he only lost five guys. <laughs> so what the hell? Great, great news for me. Uh, shooting phase, and I'm not quite sure. I pre I m it must have been the warp lightning cannon, because nothing else can actually shoot that far. So I think the warp lightning cannon shot over to get rid of a few of these guys. Uh, he's getting kind of afraid that they're going to shoot somebody, and they're not doing too bad. Hand of Glory, I've been casted, and it does add quite a bit onto your ballistic seal, which is very handy for these guys. 
combat phase and I lose only one reaver which isn't bad but he loses nothing because the reavers are useless so we are in a bit of trouble here and we break and we get caught by the dirty rats yes the three rats have killed my horses awful news um, uh, then Matt just reforms over his guys and gets ready to put them into the side of the frost phoenix so poor old frosty the snowman is in trouble um, yeah well there you go there's a big skull and crossbones over a unit who's on its side they're all dead I'd never face one of these things and it's absolutely lethal you roll in some chart and he gets 3d6 hits what the hell is this um, alright so from now on I'm going to target this guy with everything I have and onto the combat over here and the frost phoenix does a decent job well not really a decent job he got a couple of attacks through got them i got two for thunder stomp got those so i got four but i need to do more than four really because sometimes and in this case it did happen they got a wound through so he wins by musician luckily enough frost phoenix is on leadership ace so i wasn't doing too badly so he held but it's it's worrying times so high elf turn three and uh, we got to do something or else these guys are just going to keep coming forward and keep taking us apart piece by piece by piece. So uh, I'm going to charge into these rats and hopefully something else is going to happen. Uh, so yeah, in we go, charge the rats, chop them up. And the same thing goes for the sword masters. We've got to get in there, got to get chopping because if we don't, Frosty's going to be toast and we're going to be screwed. So all I can do is get in there. So sword masters take a chance i think it was an eight made it so we're in we need to get a good blender action going on here and get rid of some of these guys because if we don't we're going to get picked apart now what i thought i should do here is turn around my archers and start shooting at either the rats who are annoying the fuck out of me or the doom wheel because the other guys have run away at this stage so I leave it out there and I think that's from last turn that hand of glory so it should be gone but <laughs> if I get the chance I'll be casting it again um, so obviously nothing <laughs> happened in my magic phase and uh, so onto the combat and surprise surprise the phoenix guard killed the rats now there's a weird rule about these guys that you can only kill the rats and you can't kill the pack master bollocks that's what it is but anyway it's the skaven rule so of course it's bollocks um, so we obviously um, f try and catch this guy who, who runs like the fucking wind. It's unbelievable. He goes through his main unit who panics them, um, but they don't. They pass their ten, so they're fine. Now, if I roll an eleven, I get into the side of his unit. I said, why not? This is a good time to do something. So let's give it a go. Roll. Got a ten. Oh, so close. Still good to try it. Uh, Frosty Phoenix does a great job here and kills loads of people he does a, does a bang up job and so too do the sword masters and things might be just swinging a little bit for me over here if i can get rid of these two units turn these guys around i might be able to do something escape in turn three and matt does something i didn't think he was going to do and in hindsight it was a brilliant thing to do obviously so he charges his big unit of storm movement right into the back of the sword masters which are probably going to blend up those guys in, in a turn or two and turn around and face them so now the sword masters are facing a wall of characters at the back <laughs> facing the wall of characters at the back and they have got a big unit of well, useless rats but obviously they've got loads of them so i mean that's not bad and we're going to struggle now against this um, but something wonderful happens. Mac goes to rally his pack master, who goes through his slaves, who run, and goes through another guy who runs as well. And now these guys are in free fall, which is brilliant. There's a nice big open here now, and we can plow into the side of these clan rats and get in there. This is this is looking all right. Unfortunately for the bolt thrower, he's in a bit of bother over there as well. Because the doom wheel rolls a nice high result, slams into the side of him, and uh, impact hits alone are probably going to kill this guy. But, I mean, so what? What are you going to do? It's only a bolt thrower, really. And there is another charge over here by a doom wheel into the side of my Frost Phoenix. So, Frosty is in a small bit of trouble now. Yeah, we'll see how he goes, but he, he might be alright. Um, movement wise, um, Matt decides to move his two characters into the gutter runners 
and why not? You might as well. BSB and his little guy, his little caster guy, are over there now, and hopefully they'll be safe. He says to himself. Um, and meanwhile, those guys move up a little bit, and that's all the movement there is. And over here, we are getting surrounded. Not good. Rats come down. Rats come across. Giant, massive blob of rat comes over as well. Um, if we don't get these Phineas Guard moving over there and get my general's unit away from these guys, we're in trouble. Lots of trouble. And just as I was worried, Matt decides to cast a nut and spell and miscast. Wonderful news. Uh, Hell and Warp Gale is, is a bit of a, a bit of a pain in the arse for me because it means if my Phoenix runs, he's going to get absolutely run down. But because he's miscast, uh, anything can happen really. And it does happen. A small blast template kills the wizard and the guy beside him. Which means that they have to take a panic test. And they fail. And they fail a reroll. And off they go. This is wonderful news. This is super wonderful news. No banner to use. And they're running. Uh, even more wonderful is that the Doom Wheel tries not to fire. Fails. Misfires. And causes himself... I think it's four, no, I think it's three or four wounds, something like that. He's left with one wound, so you never know. The old elves can get in there. If he just flip, if he fluffs his uh, impact hits, maybe they'll get in there and get a hit. Um, <laughs> but it's, who does get a hit is Mr. Globadier. This guy, well, not Globadier, he's got the Doom Rocket. So Doom Rocket goes over. Matt rolls beautifully well, which lands right in the middle of my feckin' Phoenix Guard and takes out half the unit. If things weren't hard enough, things have just gotten really, really hard now. So, that's not good. So, Skaven's shooting, and I think it was another cannon shot that got rid of a few more of these guys. And uh, they're getting whittled down as well. And, unfortunately, impact hits take their toll, and my war machine's gone. Um, never mind, it was a long shot really for him to maybe get a wound on this guy, but the lucky misfire has actually made my day. I'm delighted to see it happen. And the Doom Wheel overruns and flies right past the archers who are just looking at it going, oh crap, this is going to kill us. But now they have a chance to maybe do a wound. Not bad. And back to the never-ending comment of Frosty and the Friends. So Frosty does a great job here and gets rid of the eight clan rats, which is nice. And it also breaks off... Breaks off one of his ranks, so he's down a bit. And he has no BSB as well, which is good news. Um, otherwise, nothing happens to Frosty. He doesn't get hit by anybody. Tough as nails. And uh, Matt's got a roll. A roll which the slaves pass, but the Doom Wheel fails. And Doom Wheel flies off in that direction. I really wish I could fly after that thing and kill it, because it's a pain in the hole. But... That's good news. That thing is out of my way, and it looks like things aren't going too badly. Of course, I did speak far, far too soon, because main unit crumbles into my sword masters, and they're, they did it. So they did it. six wounds, not bad against these guys, but it's only slaves they killed. They couldn't kill anything else. And what's going to happen here now is that his massive unit is coming to kill me, and his slaves are coming into the side of my frost phoenix. So high off turn 4, and all I can really do is try and get these guys into combat as quick as possible, and hopefully kill some more of these rats. Unfortunately, Matt knows exactly that's what I need to do, and he flees with his rat unit. Great. Uh, we can't redirect it to anybody else because they're all too far away, so we just roll the dice. I think we move 4 or something. So these guys are in no man's land now, and that's not good. Onto the rest of my movement, which is which is nothing really. So I move back with the spearman and turn the archers around again to face the doom wheel. Uh, more in hope than anything else. But the magic phase is quite kind to me. We get off handed glory, plus two ballistic seal to these guys, so everybody should hit. So hopefully we'll get a six there somewhere. Tempest goes off over that side, and we kill a good few of storm vermin, which is nice. And the big one was that I had a fiery convocation. I had five dice. I rolled really, really high. I think it was 27 or something ridiculous. But I didn't miscast. Unfortunately, Rat... Rat... Matt somehow decided to roll the dice and pray to the god of Dave Houlihan, who happens to roll sixes all the time, and he got a double six. 
Damn it. That was my chance. But find some good luck and some some a lot of luck here. Uh, rolled with everybody, hit with everybody, and got two sixes. So Ma had two tests to make. He failed one armor save, and the Doom Wheel goes pop to a tiny, tiny elven flowery arrow. <laughs> Wonderful news. And uh, moving on to the combat phase, close up on Mr. Frost, who managed to get rid of enough of these guys that they fail their panic and they exploded. Which I had forgotten about, which was horrible. And the resulting explosion of vile rats got a wound through. Well done. But they're gone, and now I have a chance to turn around and see if I can charge somebody else. And this is the way I faced them. What the hell? I, I Looking back at this, I'm going, I'm, oh, I should have put him looking at somebody else. Fucking hell. But anyway, this is what I did, and I'm an idiot. So there you go. Uh, Skaven turned four, and he charges with his big unit to come over towards me and try and get me but he doesn't get I think it was an 11 or something like that it was a larger charge maybe a 12 uh, so he failed so just wanders forward a bit um, he does not rally anybody which is great stuff which means the BSB is still running away Clan Rats are still running away and the Rat Packmaster who started it all off is running away as well um, for charges though Hell Pit Abomination goes into the back of the Phoenix Guard and that's probably going to seal them and seal their fate so the Doom Wheel, which actually rallied at the start of the turn, I forgot to say that, uh, tries to restrain its shooting, doesn't. Rolls to shoot, misfires. Um, rolls something that it goes in a random direction and then takes... It, actually, a random direction hits the building and takes D6 wounds or something like that. I don't know what the hell it was, but it's gone down to a few wounds anyway. And then if he rolled a 1, he would have caught another wound. This Skaven stuff is very funny. Very, very funny. What's not funny is my guy's getting killed again. So uh, more poison shots fly over here and get rid of a couple more spearmen and these, these guys are in all sorts of trouble now. But not as much trouble as the Phoenix card. We're getting battered. Six guys gone. Only a few more to go. And this abomination is just lethal. Absolutely lethal. People whinge about the Phoenix... The, not the Phoenix card. The fucking Frost Phoenix. This thing is unreal. So, high elf turn 5, and uh, what the hell am I going to do? I have 2 units or 3 units left. Not, not looking good. So, all I can do is reverse with my spearmen and my guys, or else they're toast. Um, down the bottom, I'm going to face that way and probably shoot some guys. I actually forgot to move these guys, I think. Matt said, look, friendly game, you moved them. I said, no, look, I made the mistake. I'm not doing that. It's my own fault. Uh, so, leave them where they are. In the meantime, though, Frost Phoenix, who was flapping around looking for some of the hurt, came across a couple of rats. So he's gone into them, and hopefully I'll be able to do something. But I think what I did was I made a mistake anyway by pointing them that way, and I've wasted my time. Maybe if he went into the Abomination, we might have survived over there. But pff, who's going to know now, huh? Uh, well, they're not going to know because they didn't survive. Um, I missed my magic phase, by the way, where Matt rolled another double six on three dice to stop my miss my, my fiery convocation not bitter at all but anyway um so yeah phoenix guard are toast and he i think he's frenzied or maybe not i think he might be and he flew through anyway 3d6 and off he goes so probably won't see him for the rest of the game so skaven turn five and uh matt goes to rally or attempt to rally his guys, and as you can see, nothing happens again. There's no rally for the Skaven, which is great stuff. Uh, so two units are gone off the board. He has his clan rats gone, and the little idiot who did it all, the pack master, he's gone off as well. Uh, his BSB and his friends are also flying off. So next turn, turn six, is he's got his last chance to do this, or else they're gone. Um, the what's your call it? Hell piss turns around and tries to get into Frost Phoenix. Doesn't make it. Thank God. So, uh, sorry for the slightly off kind of photograph, it looks a bit blurry. Um, we have another charge by these guys on my spearman, and he misses again, which is lovely. But now we are really being fenced in. I mean, the rats are coming on either side. He's got his gutter runners firing at me. Oh, God, this is not looking good. And it's going to be the end of my guys very, very soon. <laughs> and that's my combat, which is not very bloody good. Frost Phoenix is all all combated out now at this stage. He's had enough. He's had enough of rats, so he kills two. 
takes a wound due to ranks and the wound that you do I lose by one I roll and run away luckily enough I managed to get away so I might be able to rally him on the next turn but I mean if you're not if you're running away from these guys you're, you're not very bloody good but Frosty does rally fair play to you Frosty and he awaits the charge from an other rat there's rats everywhere anybody could charge him probably Mr. Hellpit but we'll see what happens um, now this is interesting I'm glad of a picture what I wanted to do here with these archers was to stop him from charging my spearmen by putting him such a way that my front arc would be where he would have to go because that's where he is mostly visible now I was pretty sure that's where it was and what I should have done was I should have double checked this with Matt to make sure that he agreed with me because that's what I wanted to do or got somebody else to do it because I was pretty sure this is what it was now in the meantime the spearmen walk backwards again because obviously they're, they're fucked if, if anything happens to them I mean, they're dead but uh, I thought this was going to save me and I was, I was delighted with myself oh finally a good move it's been a whole game of rubbish moves about time I did something good but as you're going to see it didn't work out quite like that uh, well, what did work out quite well though was fiery convocation which finally went off after fucking six turns and killed a whole host of rats which is great stuff and uh, this spell is off now and in his phase if he doesn't get himself at least five dice I think he'd need five or six maybe he's going to be he's going to be struggling to dispel it and it'll be another turn to get rid of some more rats uh, which is good news so the final turn Skaven turn six now start with the charges here so the f the main well the main charge is the one at the bottom I could have sworn and I, I don't know I took my eye off for a second and Matt just moved his guys fair enough Matt didn't did, didn't think anything of it this is grand but I'm pretty sure that it, the arc that I gave him would have meant he'd have to close into the front of my guys and anybody want to give me any suggestions or agreements or disagreements or let me know what you think if I'm correct or if I'm wrong and why I'm wrong so I won't do it again but I thought it'd be in the front but anyway because of what he does here he has a chance now to overrun into a new combat as the other two units charge into the back and side of the spearman so quite obviously he's going to muller and murder and chomp straight through the archers and go into the spearman and the spearmen are going to get fucking buggered silly so obviously what I didn't want to happen was that never mind we will roll with it because it's only a friendly game so who cares really you know and I don't deserve to win because I played shit meanwhile Frost Phoenix gets charged by the Hell Pit Abomination so that's gonna be tough uh, very very tough I was hoping he put the rats in but that's what an idiot like me would do uh, rats is, uh, rat again Matt is a smart guy so he didn't put them in and then the doom wheel just just fires off over that way because he's not gonna do much anyway uh, over here he goes to rally and fails again and they run off the board so BSB plus the gutter runners are all gone so at least they get something out of it so onto the combat over here with the hell pit and the phoenix and it's a stalemate and the phoenix lives which is great news because he deserves to live after what he did I mean, he's, he's a serious fucking hero for me um, has only one wound left but good stuff out of the phoenix very proud of what he did so I have a two and one photograph here um, fiery convocation was dispelled because Matt got 11 dice and rolled probably five sixes or something like that and then my archer unit was destroyed of course absolutely destroyed which then leads to this crunch they go straight in maximize up and everybody gets annihilated and that there is the end of the game so there we go done and dusted uh, good game I enjoyed it actually I enjoyed that game it didn't didn't look like I enjoyed it I'll tell you about all the explosions and dead bodies that I had but it was a fun game and it's always fun playing Matt because he is really really good and you know losing to someone like Matt is nothing nothing bad because you have a good game and you know you learn a couple of things as well his general his generalship is really high up there on the scale uh, he's won. He's won a couple of big tournaments. He's won Macho Hammer and stuff like that. And he, he's he's really good. What I will say is that I made a big mistake in not getting rid of that Hell Pit Abomination when I did, and in my placement as well, I probably should have had maybe the Phoenix and the Frost Phoenix team up 
on that side to get rid of that guy. Hold up the other units with the Reavers a bit more. And maybe just keep the Sword Masters closer to my Spearmen to help them out. I mean, if Zan's butts, whatever, it's not going to happen now. It doesn't matter because they're all dead. But in future games, hopefully I'll improve a little bit better. Um, what else can I say? Uh, I think the Skaven army is really cool. It's just that a lot of people don't play it like Matt played it there. And he doesn't himself. He holds back quite a bit with a lot more cannons and all that sort of stuff. But that was quite fun. I enjoyed it. So uh, hopefully you guys all enjoyed it as well. And thanks very much for watching.